Now, we 31 Storm Cracker meteorologist Carson Meredith with 31 Triple Down. Well, Carson, we've been talking about it all morning. There are several events that are taking place oh, yeah. today, but we mm -hmm. need to make sure that it is going to stay kind of comfortable for the folks out there. Well, it's all in how you look at it today. <laughs> Wear deodorant and be prepared to sweat. Uh, basically, <laughs> and yes. Drink your water. It, there you go. Basically, yes. And especially starting tomorrow, <laughs> right. definitely stay hydrated too, because it's going to get a little bit warmer as the week goes on. Let's take you to the SkyCam Network on this Tuesday morning. Watching Gunnersville closely, I promise you the Sky Camp's working out in Marshall County. Just got a lot of fog over the water this morning. Most of that fog, as we've talked about, is starting to lift, but there's going to be a few trouble spots through the morning commute, especially out in Lake Gunnersville and maybe towards Scottsboro as well. So just give yourself a couple extra minutes heading out the door in case you encounter some of that patchy fog. Otherwise, smooth sailing on those roadways because 31 Triple Doppler is nice and quiet. I expect us to stay dry mostly all day. There's going to be a few downpours though potentially this afternoon. I want to remind you, especially as that heat continues to build in, to walk your pups around the neighborhood now before you head off to work. We've got temperatures hovering near 70 at the moment. We'll climb into the mid 80s by 10 a.m. Remember, with those high temperatures in the low to mid 90s, that concrete and asphalt, your driveway, your sidewalks around the neighborhood could get as hot as 150 degrees. That's enough to burn your paws on your furry friends. So get that dog walk done now if you possibly can. Avoid it during that peak heat of the day. This is how hot it gets today. 93 in Huntsville, 93 today in Scottsboro, 93 also today in Decatur. 94 is our forecast in the Shoals, 91 in Gunnersville, 91 in Fort Payne, also 91 this afternoon up in Fayetteville, Tennessee. Trash Pandas are finally back in town this week. First game against the Tennessee Smokies is tonight at 635. You can watch the game as always on this TV. As far as the rain chances, they're low, but they are there. We're going to have a couple of downpours pop up this afternoon. Area with the best chance will be east of I-65. So we could have a quick downpour at Toyota Field this evening, but if we do, it's not going to last more than 15, 20 minutes. So we should be good to go for this game tonight. First pitch temperature is 89. We're down to 80 by the end of the game. Here's future radar for the next two days. Most of us stay dry, but you see a couple of those showers try to dot the map in our eastern counties. Like we mentioned, those showers today are not going going to last long and no severe weather is expected at all. It's quiet overnight. When you wake up Wednesday morning, we'll call it a mix of sun and clouds, maybe some patchy fog again. Temperatures a little more mild in the low 70s and it gets even hotter from here. We're in the mid 90s Wednesday afternoon and I did add a small chance for a shower in DeKalb County Wednesday afternoon along I-59. Everybody else will stay totally dry, not just for the next couple of days, we're all dry Thursday and Friday, but the rain chances for the next 10 days are very, very low. Not a whole lot of rain on the way. That means the heat continues to build, not just through the rest of July, but also through the beginning of August too. All these yellow, orange, and red colors on our temperature outlook means there's a pretty good chance we'll keep those high temperatures above average as we close out this month and begin Next month, see that pretty well in the 10 day forecast highs in the low to mid 90s, maybe a few spots in the upper 90s later this week. And the only rain chances we have are a few pop up downpours, especially next week.